Hey guys, I'm John Setzler. Welcome back to Man Cave Meals. Today, I've got a special treat. We're going to have a look at a new portable pizza oven that I've recently acquired. This is the Uni 3 pizza oven. And if you guys follow me at all, you know I love pizza. I've made a lot of pizzas a lot of different ways. And I saw this Uni and decided we have to give this thing a try. It looks like it's gonna be a fantastic way to make Neapolitan style pizza. So let's have a look at it. The Uni is a really nice and simplistic design. It's a portable stainless steel outdoor high temperature pizza oven. So let's have a look at some of the components and the way this is put together. The firebox on the Uni oven sits at the rear and it's fed through a pellet hopper up top here and then these pellets fall right into the fire tray and the pellets that you use here are very similar if not the same style of pellets that you use in a pellet grill so to light this guy up you just load this up with pellets and you light it with a torch or a fire starter either directly or through a hole on the side here and you just slide that back in and let it get going and you fill the pellet hopper up once it's lit so it'll keep feeding pellets and then the lid just sits right on top of the pellet hopper. And the handle, the, the pellet hopper lid here doubles as a tool for removing and, and closing the hot fire box. The cooking chamber of the Uni has a really nice heavy duty uh, square pizza stone base. And I can't tell for sure, but I believe that's made out of cordite. And the door just latches right on just like that. The exhaust smokestack on this unit uh, comes on and off with a very simple latch where you can make this easy to store. And the, the smokestack cover doubles as a scoop for your pellets to load pellets in and out of the pellet hopper. Okay, we're going to light this guy up and see how this goes. I've loaded my pellet hopper up with a batch of pellets, so we're just going to slide that in there and we're going to close the door almost all the way. I've decided I'm going to use my torch to light this from the back. So let's start right there. Okay, I'm just going to use my torch and we're going to get that going. And after just a few seconds with the torch, we'll have a flame. So I'm going to push that door closed. And we're going to put the lid back on the pellet hopper. And we're going to give that just a few minutes. Once you have your fire lit, it's important to have the lid on the pellet hopper, the lid off of the exhaust stack, and the front door closed. This draft that gets created here is part of what makes this thing work so well, and you have to have all these pieces in place for that draft to start. After I've got my fire going nicely for about seven or eight minutes, I'm going to use the scoop, and we're going to load pellets into the pellet hopper from the top. And we're just going to basically fill that up and put the lid back on. And this is something you're going to want to check the level on if you're cooking multiple pizzas. You're going to want to check it after every pizza or so. And you want to keep that topped off. Okay, I lit the uni exactly 10 minutes ago. And if you'll have a look there, you see that beautiful flame. And my pizza stone temperature is already up to 660 degrees. So this guy is basically ready to cook a really hot pizza, but we're going to let it go for just a few more minutes. After just about three more minutes, we've got a really blazing fire going here. You have a look at that. And my stone temperature is up to 800 degrees. So that's, that's really almost ideal for Neapolitan style pizza. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of testing with this and do a few things off camera and then we're going to set up and cook a pizza. Okay, I've spent a little time playing around with this Uni 3 uh, pizza oven. I feel comfortable on how to control it, how to set it up, how to light it. So I have made a batch of dough using the recipe in the Uni manual and I've also made some of their tomato sauce so I'm going to put together two quick pizzas here and then we're gonna fire up the uni 3 and cook these okay I've made two pizzas here and on my uni pizza peel I laid down some semolina flour and I want to be able to jiggle the pizza like that 
you want to be able to shake the pizza and make sure that it's going to slide on your peel before you get ready to launch this and i find that semolina flour works extremely well for that so now we're going to fire up the oven okay i've got my pellet hopper loaded up here so i'm just going to slide it in place and i have discovered that lighting this works best right through this hole so we're going to give it the torch for a few seconds I like to give that about 15 seconds and then we're going to set the lid on top and let that burn for five to seven minutes before we come back and load up the pellet hopper. We've been warming up here for almost seven minutes so at this point I like to top off the pellet hopper. And I just like to fill that up to the top and put the lid back on and since I'm only cooking two pizzas today that will probably give us enough to cook two without any trouble so I will uh, check on that between pizzas. Our uni here has been running for exactly 10 minutes now so I'm going to take a look and see where we are. I'm up to 620 degrees there on the stone so I'm going to let this go for another couple of minutes to get that guy really screaming hot. Okay, our uni's ready to go. We're up to over 800 degrees in there, so I'm gonna pop the lid. We're gonna slide this pizza right on here, close it, and start our timer. And for time's sake, I'm gonna leave the camera running during this, cause we're gonna let this cook about 30 seconds or maybe 40 seconds. Then we're gonna open the door back up and we're gonna rotate that pizza so it gets a nice even cook. So at this point here, We've been going for 18, 19, 20 seconds, so we're gonna let it go just a few more seconds here and uh, crack it back open. You wanna keep the lid on, keep the door on while you're cooking. So that's the 30 second mark. So let's pop the door. Give this guy a turn. Put the door back on. and let it go another 30 seconds. And right now we're at a total of one minute, not counting the time we just had the door open. So we're gonna let it go to about the one minute 20 second mark here before I open back up. And that's 115, so Let's have a peek at that. It's looking really good here. I'm gonna give it another little quarter turn and give that guy a few more seconds in there. It's almost done. It's cooking really quickly because this thing's just really screaming hot. So we'll keep letting it go. We're at a total of a minute 45 seconds, not counting the time we've had the door open. So I'm gonna let it go up to almost the two minute mark, which is 10 seconds away from here. And now we're down to five seconds, four, three, two, one. And now let's have a peek. Oh yeah. Let's have a look at that. Let's close the door back. My fresh basil stash is just about over. It's early October here in North Carolina, and my basil plants are about spent for the season. I got this one a little done on the back side here, and I don't know if we can see the base of that. The base of that's perfect. So I've got a second pizza that we're gonna cook here, and like I said, that was my first attempt on this. So we will get our second pizza on the peel here. This one's got a little pepperoni on it, so we'll toss it on. Okay, we're gonna open up and get that one with pepperoni on. Give it about 30 or 40 seconds. Okay, I'm coming up on the 40 second mark, so I'm gonna open the lid, reach in, get this guy, give him a little turn. Put the lid back on, give it another 40 seconds. Okay, and now we'll crack it back open again and see where we are on this guy. Looks good, I'm gonna give it just maybe 10 more seconds. Nine, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then we'll get this guy out. And that one looks really good. So let's have a look. This one looks a lot better than the first one. I didn't get that one quite as done on the edge. So let's have a look at the bottom. See if we can see up under there. Yeah, that's perfect. It's not burnt at all. So now that's my first cook on this. I'm very impressed with it. It's looking good. My technique needs a little bit of work with this oven. I'm still learning how to use this. So stick around with us and uh, we're gonna cook a lot more pizzas on this. Okay, so after my first cooking session with the Uni 3, I'm super impressed. The flavor of that pizza was fantastic, both of them. Even the one that was a little overcharred on the outer edges. But like I said, that's not the oven's fault. That is my uh, situation, my learning curve. I haven't gotten full control of that oven yet. I'm very happy with it compared to what I've been using in the past for dedicated pizza ovens, which is the Blackstone oven. Uh, I like the wood-fired flavor a little bit better here, and I also like the fact that I can still go from zero to Neapolitan uh, pizza temperatures in well under 15 minutes. Uh, the testing that I did off camera with this oven, I want to tell you about it. I'm not going to show you because it's kind of irrelevant in picture, but uh, I did uh, four or five different start up and shutdowns on the oven and one of the things I wanted to find out was how different brands of pellets behave. I got 20 pounds of the Uni branded pellets with this oven and they work great. There's absolutely no, no problems there. But I also have a pellet grill and smoker and I have two different brands of pellets on hand that I use on that. Uh, I use a brand, my favorite brand is a brand called B&B, &B, which also is known as Barbecuer's Delight. Or they're both the same pellet, just packaged in different labels. And I also have some Lumberjack pellets, which I do not like using in my pellet grill. So I wanted to try all three in the Uni. All three seem to work fairly well in the Uni. I didn't have any trouble. Uh, now, one thing I haven't tested is an extended uh, cooking time. These pellets do produce some ash, and you may, uh, I don't know exactly how long you could go, how many pizzas you could cook, but what I did on each of these was I measured out one and a half pounds of pellets, or 24 ounces of pellets, which is enough to light the oven and enough to fill up the pellet hopper probably twice. Uh, and I wanted to see how much burn time I got out of a pound and a half of pellets. And it's basically the same, I give or take a minute or so, on, on the three various brands of pellets. I was able to light the oven and let it burn for five to seven minutes like I, like I showed you. I was able to fill up the pellet hopper and let the oven come up to uh, Neapolitan pizza range where I had that stone at 800 degrees or so and then have another 10 minutes of cook time 10 to 12 minutes of cooking time on that amount of pellets and if you've got your pizzas up and ready to go 10 to 12 minutes of cooking time is enough time to cook four four or five pizzas so I was really impressed a pound and a half of pellets will get you warmed up and get you four or five pizzas cooked no problem so uh, I'm really looking forward to using this grill. We're gonna use it a lot more. We're gonna do a lot of pizzas in this grill and I'm gonna show you as we go some of the styles because I want to perfect my cooking technique and get that beautiful look. Look is half the battle on, on getting great pizzas. So I already get great pizza look on the existing ovens I've got, but we gotta get it on this one. So I'm impressed and this is gonna become my go-to for quick and dirty high temperature pizzas. So until next time, I'm John Setzler with Man Cave Meals.